I want to say a little bit about what we call fo a focal point for a mirror. A focal point, kind of like the, the name suggests, is a point where light comes into focus. Focal points exist for curved mirrors, and if I have a concave mirror like this one, the focal point is a point where if I bring in light that's parallel, all the light, because of the law of reflection, comes reflects back to a common location. So that would be the focal point for that mirror. In other words, if I had sunlight coming in from the left, and this was my curved mirror right here, then I if I had a little leaf or something like there, I'd make it, make it catch fire, because all that sunlight would focus to that one point. That's called the focal point, F, of that mirror. And because we define uh, all quantities over here this being the real side of the mirror and over here quantities are all negative in other words this is the so-called V side of the mirror this focal length will be positive Remember that the, f the way I calculate it is that it equals the radius of curvature divided by 2. In other words, if the center of curvature is over here and that's equal to 1 radius of this circular mirror, the focal length is always half of the radius of curvature. As a result, r is also a, po a positive number. By the same token, if I had a little object located right there, a little candle, and it was emitting light in all different directions, that object, as it was emitting light into the mirror at these various locations, would send light out in a parallel beam. So this, if I wanted, I could make a great little flashlight by uh, putting a candle right there, putting a curved mirror behind it, and putting the candle exactly at the focal point, and I would have a perfect parallel beam I could go and use to illuminate something at, at a distance. The other kind of mirror, of course, is the so-called convex mirror. Over here is the so-called V side. Over here is the so-called R side. And in this case, the center of curvature is back over there. And so this might be one radius of curvature. And the focal length will be right there. So F is always equal to R over 2. This will be a negative number because the center of curvature is on the, the V side. The r that means the radius of curvature will be a negative number, and as a result, the focal length will be a, a negative number. Now, what does focal length mean in this case? Because if I said before, the focal length is the point at which um, light would appear to converge if I bring in parallel light. Well, if I look at, or if I try to remember what happens to light rays coming into such a mirror here, They're all reflecting off. In other words, they never actually come to a point of focus anywhere along this mirror. They always reflect back over toward the real side. So how do I even refer to a focal length here? Well, these light rays, if I was some observer over here on this side of the mirror, they would all, be, uh, they would all appear to me to come from a common origin. So even though lo no light rays actually uh, coalesced right there, they would appear to, if I was standing on the left side of the mirror here and looking back into the mirror, I would think that those light rays all came from a common location. So that's what a focal point or means in this case. And because the light rays never actually do converge, this is sometimes called a virtual focus. whereas this is called a real focus. In this case, light rays actually do come together, and I could burn a leaf if I put it this, this mirror in the sun, whereas in the convex mirror, 
although I might uh, form an image of the sun, the, the energy of, from the light rays from the sun would never, never ever converge at a single point. It's a virtual focus. So we still have the notion of a focal length with a convex mirror. It's just that it's, it takes on a different character. It's a place where light rays appear to come from, and light rays actually never do converge at that point. We'll use this concept of a focal length very often in our calculations coming up soon.